Hello everyone, welcome to another topic of biochemistry nutrition. Uh, so today in the topic vitamin, we are going to read about another uh, vitamin that is vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 we also called is a called it niacin. So other various names of vitamin B3 is nicotinic acid, nicotinamide, niacinamide. And the main precursor of the vitamin B3, the main precursor of vitamin B3 is dietary tryptophan. The dietary tryptophan is also the neutral amino acid. You should remember is that the dietary tryptophan is always neutral neutral amino acid. So now let us discuss what are the various sources of vitamin B3. The rich sources of vitamin B3 are liver, yeast, whole grams, cereals. The pulses like beans and peanuts are the rich sources of vitamin B3. The moderate sources are milk, fish, eggs and vegetables. Now let us move towards what is the daily recommended allowance of vitamin B3. In the adults it is 15 to 29 mg whereas in the children it is 10 to 15 mg. The maximum vitamin B3 that we can take is 35 mg in a day. Anywhere other than 35 mg there could be the excess of vitamin B3 though it is water soluble vitamin we should always remember that. Now what are the various function or physiological roles of the vitamin B3? So the con before knowing the various function and physiological roles let us discuss about constituents or coenzymes of the vitamin B3. It is NAD and NADP. The NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and NADP is NAD phosphate. You should always remember that NAD plus is oxidized NAD, NADP plus is oxidized NADP. So both NAD and NADP are used in redox reaction, oxidation and reduction reaction. The synthesis of the vitamin B3 requires vitamin B2 and vitamin B6. So the vitamin B3 is used to treat the dyslipidemia. The vitamin B3 lowers the very low density lipoprotein and it raises the level of high density lipoprotein. We know that very de low density lipoprotein is bad cholesterol whereas the high de density lipoprotein is good lipoprotein. So it helps in the increasing the level of high density lipoprotein. Now let us discuss about the physiological role of the vitamin B3. What are the various NAD plus dependent in uh, NAD plus dependent enzyme and reactions. So it is it is very very required in carbohydrate metabolism. The lactate dehydrogenase requires NAD plus um, while changing the pyruvate into lactate. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex also requires NAD plus to change pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme. In the lipid metabolism, beta hydroxy acyl coenzyme dehydrogenase also requires NAD plus. The beta hydroacyl coenzyme A is changed to beta ketoacyl coenzyme A. The alcohol dehydrogenase also requires NAD plus to change alcohol into acetyl dehyde. In the protein metabolism, the branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase requires NAD plus. Now let us discuss about NADP, NADP plus dependent enzymes. The G glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase required NADP plus. The glucose 6-phosphate while uh, glucose 6-phosphate is changed into 6-phosphogluconoacetone uh, during this during this um, uh, during this reaction the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase requires NADP plus. The malic, the malic enzyme also requires NODP plus to change malate into pyruvate. Now let us discuss the NADPH dependent enzymes. The NADPH dependent enzymes are 
एच एम जी को रिडक्टेज टू चेंज एच एम जी को टू मेवालोनेट एनोदर इज कोलेट्रोल सेवेन अल्फा हाइड्रोअक्जिलेज द कोलेट्रोल इज चेंज इन टू सेवेन अल्फा हाइड्रोअक्जी कोलेट्रोल नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफिशियसी अफ द भिटामिन बी थ्री वाट आर द भेरियस मेनिफेस्टेशन दैट अकर्स ड्यू टू डिफिशियसी अफ भिटामिन बी थ्री द इन द माइनर देर कुड बी द ग्लोसाइटिस एंड इन द मेजर इफ देर इज सीवियर भिटामिन बी थ्री डिफिशियसी देन देर कुड बी द पेलेग्रा सो पेलेग्रा इज द कंडीसन अकर्स वेन देर इज डिफिशियसी अफ भिटामिन बी थ्री सो हाउ द पेलेग्रा कैन अकर पेलेग्रा कैन अकर्ड बाई द कंडीसन कल हार्टनप्स डिजिज और मेलिग्नेंट कार्सिनोइड सिंड्रोम और ड्यू टू इंटेक अफ आइसोनियाजिड आई विल डिस्कस हार्टनप डिजिज इन डिटेल इन द मेलिग्नेंट कार्सिनोइड सिंड्रोम व्हाट अगे व्हाट हेपेन्स इन द मेलिग्नेंट कार्सिनोइड सिंड्रोम देर इज इंक्रीज टिप्टोफान मेटाबोलिज्म सो एज देर इज इंक्रीज टिप्टोफान मेटाबोलिज्म द प्रिकर्सर अफ द टिप्टोफान इज लेस इन द बडी सो Uh, there will be the less production of the vitamin B3 because the precursor is less. In the in the isoniazid, there is the decreased amount of vitamin B6 because one of the uh, one of the side effect of the isoniazid is that it reduces vitamin B6 uh, level in our body. So we already said that during the synthesis of the vitamin. B3, vitamin B2 and vitamin B6 is required. So if there is deficiency of vitamin B6, then obviously there will be the deficiency of vitamin B3. So now let us discuss about the symptoms of pellagra. You should know 3D. The symptom of pellagra is diarrhea, dementia, and dermatitis. So if we do not treat the pellagra in time, then there will be the 4D. The death will be added. the death will be added in the uh, pellagra so now let us discuss about the heart nerve disease heart nerve disease is a autosomal recessive condition there will be the deficiency of neutral amino acid transporter in proximal renal tubular cells and on enterocytes we have already discussed that the neutral amino acid what are the neutral amino acid one of the neutral amino acid is tryptophan so if there is deficiency of neutral amino acid transporters on the proximal renal tubular cells and on enterocyte then there will be the neutral amino acid urea and there will be the decreased absorption of the neutral amino acid from the gut so if there is neutral amino acid acid urea and there is decreased gut absorption of the neutral amino acid then there will be the decreased amount of neutral amino acid so what is the neutral amino acid in the case of vitamin b3 it is tryptophan so tryptophan is the neutral amino acid there will if there is decreased amount of tryptophan for the conversion to niacin then there will be the occurrence of the pellagra like syndrome so you should know like this heart nerve disease is like this so um, though the vitamin b3 is water soluble they if they if we take maximum above the level of the maximum dose 35 mg then there will be the excess of vitamin b3 what are the various symptoms that occurs when there is excess of vitamin b3 there will be the facial flushing hyperglycemia and hyperuricemia if there is excess there is facial flushing hyperglycemia and hyperuricemia the facial flushing in the excess of vitamin b3 is induced by the prostaglandin and not by the histamine so uh, during intake of um, niacin if we take aspirin along with niacin then there will be the decreased amount of facial flushing Uh, so we discuss about the vitamin b3 in detail we discuss about short introduction sources recommended daily allowances uh, function or physiological role various nad plus nadp plus any nadps plus dependent enzymes and reaction the various deficiency with various manifestation that occurs when there is vitamin b3 deficiency uh, we discuss about the pellagra we discuss about the heart nerve disease Uh, and we discuss about the malignant carcinoid syndrome and we also discuss about the various symptom that occurs when there is excess of vitamin b3 i hope you understood this lecture uh, and enjoyed this lecture uh, in the subsequent video i will discuss about the su subsequent vitamin b 
लाइक भिटामिन बी फाइव भिटामिन बी सिक्स एंड सो ऑन दिस मच फर टुडे थैंक यू